winning a raid, tearing up your base, got the loot and elixirs, ripping off your face, the archer queen crossbow, lighting you up, winning all the clan wars, don't give a fool, yeah, it's the clash of clans, clash and psycho is the man. What is up my friends, week 8 of CWL Premiere, Hindustan vs Forts from Steel, ending up being... Uh, you know, only a three-star victory, despite Hindustan probably having one of the most convincing, uh, one of the most convincing results and the most convincing wars, heck, in all of the, uh, all of the, uh, in all of the uh, CWL season so far. Now, maybe they wouldn't agree, uh, but but uh, because the because the hit rate ten v ten has been even better for Hindustan, but we're still talking. Let's put up the war match. We're still talking 11 10 v 10s. Roughly the same as last week for Hindustan, uh, being 35% last week, I think. Uh, so it could have been maybe 12 or 13 10 v 10s even, but we're talking such amazing results. We also had two 11 v 11 three stars from Hindustan. A failed dip, a failed dip, on, you know, surprisingly, uh, but I saw the attack and it, it happens, it happens. And then we had, let's see here, uh, FFS with a clearly better uh, 9v9 hit rate, 85% for them, uh, uh, compared to Hindustan's 17 out of 25, a 68% hit rate. However, Hindustan went perfect on uh, 10v11, 4 out of 4 hits were uh, successful. So we're going to watch 2 of those because, well, we had a high percentage to over 60%. On, on those and then FFS uh, you can see their stats also they did they had a really good war I mean you gotta say uh, Fortune from Steel had a really good war but Hindustan once again are rocking such a be having a crazy crazy result ended up which ended up being a week uh, week 8 CWL premiere victory so we're gonna jump right into the into the results but first we have because we missed this for a few videos of course I want to get back into this ASAP phrase of the day and today we have what is your name and with me trying to say it it's Apka Nam Kiahe Apka Nam Kiahe what is your name Apka Nam Kiahe Apka Nam Kiahe what is your name Apka Nam Kiahe what is your name so we're going to come back to that a few times while we enjoy this uh, incredible recap. Uh, Hindustan uh, versus Forge from Steel, week 8 for, uh, uh, in CWL Premier. Awesome uh, replays, awesome stuff. Let us jump right into the action. All right, my friends, we have the first one coming in with a fresh 10B11, uh, 60 plus percent attack. And uh, of course, incredible stuff. It is a queen walk into uh, into a Gobo Smash. Very straightforward. We, we're seeing a little bit of a takeaway also uh, that you can do this. You can rock those CC healers. I'm gonna drop this one down right away. Excuse me, uh, but you can drop use those CC healers uh, to get your queen up. You know, have that Town Hall 11, 11 Town Hall 11 quality healing uh, because you have those maxed out uh, level five healers uh, in in uh, for your queen now the queen actually a little bit late on the wall breakers here so some luck involved that she doesn't go on the outside well not really luck she will backtrack so nothing unexpected really but as the rage down you can see at this point with that jump placement it's pretty straightforward that there's nowhere to go except I mean we have like this but apart from that just you're sort of forcing your troops in right here so uh, it ends up being that they just go to the core and inside the core whoops let's see here there we go had a little bit of lag uh, inside the core that queen will go for the enemy queen ends up being a little bit peculiar here sorry for the lag uh, because the queen just is allowed to sit there and not just take down the enemy queen but also do a bunch of stuff that go lamb tanking for her for the longest time and then even at this point uh, that archer tower is tanked by the baby dragon now they switch but they switch to the queen or they switch to the healers um, the archer tower switches to the healers so the queen gets to do even more uh, the two healers keep her up for a little while longer well actually doesn't end up getting that one. 
has two healers or archers in the bag, but they're not going to make a difference because, uh, yeah, too little, too late. However, 60%, a little bit of luck involved, but um, but over 60% fresh 10b11, and we saw the plan. Now we had a little bit of lag, but I hope you uh, hope you get the uh, fundamental idea anyway. Let's see the next one because this account had another one. I haven't learned yet who this is, uh, and the name. It's not even something that you should try to pronounce right. So yeah, let's see the next 10b10, 10b11. All right, guys, we have the next one. But before we start here, we're gonna do phrase of the day again. Abkanam kiahe, what is your name? Abkanam kiahe, what is your name? Abkanam kiahe, what is your name? We'll come back to it. Of course, you know the drill. Okay, so let's fire up this one. Uh, we'll see right here. Minion to snipe that mortar easily. Um, sort of a base design flaw, really. And over here we see boulders smashing up a good portion of this side right here and pulling out the CC. A uh, little bit of a neat trick going on over here. Uh, you can see right here, one baby dragon and a poison spell is enough to trade off against almost any CC. You can see right here, he uses a few troops to lure them into the poison spell also. But apart from that, this whole area right here, you can see only one baby dragon and a poison spell and a few... I guess archers to pull the troops in, but end of the day, no problem. And the baby dragon is is getting uh, getting the job done versus um, all of these uh, little pesky skeletons and goblins, no problem whatsoever. And then we can see right here. Let's actually pause it and see what he's doing right here, uh, sending in everything from over here, which means they will end up go in this little nook right here. There's nowhere else to go, in particular with this baby dragon coming in from this side. So he actually rocks, um, uh, you can see the spells right here. That's a freeze spell to use uh, to distract this single target inferno right here. That is to let the queen uh, sit there and do her thing against the town hall and not run out of time. So we're gonna be watch it, watching the attack right here. As he's investing a lot in in the kill squad for good for good reason you know uh, setting uh, using a heal and a rage and a free, uh, freeze to you know allow it to do work pops the Queen's ability she's gonna step up and get the town hall and also get that single target inferno and now you can see he has a lot of stuff left just to get higher percentage drops the king and bowlers down at six o'clock just to get more percentage. Very, very nice. Pop the king, pops the king's ability. And then all these boulders doing work. I mean, even splashing onto that gold mine, the bomb tower, everything. Might even get the air defense here. Let's see. Will I get the air defense? I, yes, just barely, but still. So, I mean, and then also baby dragons on this side. So, I mean, I can see why the percentage ends up being so high. 60% 10 to 11 in this meta is unusually high i'd say so rock solid work by by hindustan's 10v11 crew making it going four for four perfect 100 percent success rate let's see because we had two 11v11s let us jump right into those and enjoy that good solid stuff we got going there all right guys let's see the 11v11s we got insomniac moving in here and we got some beautiful stuff going on here. We got funneling on this, uh, these camps, and of course this archer tower. And the idea is to move in with wall breakers like this for massive value all around the base. Uh, so let's see here what ends up happening. Let's remove all of this. He uses the warden, so warden also one, one wizard at about uh, four o'clock to take out that camp and then letting the warden uh, do work on the on the other camp using his very nice range I uh, can see all the troops moving in and Just as this is a takeaway point just as he pops the king's ability there uh, Also uses the warden's ability right off the bat You can see the incredible push he's getting through this base with not a lot invested You got to say not not a huge value invested right here And then of course he's following up with a lalo the eagle does not go down, and I think he wanted that to happen, but it's okay because at what ends up happening is that the, the loons have a straight shot for the for the eagle artillery, so it's not a big deal. Starting the minions early, 
I don't know about that because losing some of them, uh, however, making his way through the base ends up being no problem. Uh, using uh, loons uh, over here at timing it nicely at about eight o'clock. And then on for the final stretch, you can see he doesn't have a lot left to take on. A single target Inferno is a little bit of a nuisance for uh, for a heal spell, doesn't really help out, but ends up being close. But with three loons left, Insomniac smashing up this base 11 v 11, just what you want to be seeing. Beautiful, beautiful job, man. And then we have the glorious leader Addy coming in with a little bit of a lucky, uh, I think, <laughs> a little bit of a lucky. Uh, walk here because I think he wanted the, I'm pretty sure he wanted the queen to step up and uh, join up with the with the main kill squad or the main squad I should say I uh, used those healers on uh, that squad but the wall breakers were too far out uh, too far out and he did that to avoid the wall breakers sitting on uh, the same tile as the golem but what happened here was the queen shooting this wall really really annoying as she can be so uh, no heal spells. Actually, it only has one heal spell for uh, his bowlers, but but yeah, uses the warden's ability, taking on two uh, um, two giant bombs. Uses the heal in the core. Uh, so pretty. I mean, when it comes to where he used the heal and where he used the warden's ability, he certainly mitigated uh, best he could the fact that the healers did not join up with the main squad. And you can see here ends up being so that he's pretty handily crushing this base anyway. Anyway, but but ends up being closer than than he might have planned for, so to speak. Uh, so, yeah, smashing it up really, really nicely. Uh, ends up being, no question about it, Eddie smashing it up really nicely uh, for the second 11v11. Boom. All right, guys, we got a Murto coming in here and exploiting the weakness in this base 100%. You can see right here this peculiar uh, little section over here with the both, with the single target Inferno so very exposed. But not just that, but we're mostly talking this corridor right here that really is exploitable. So a Murto doing the best of it, doing a really solid push here with a lot of giants. Uh, doing uh, bowlers, doing two rages, a heal, a poison, uh, just really making sure that he picks up all the value in the world uh, with this push right here. And you can see everything is getting cleaned out. Also reaching that, that sweeper in the core. I mean, you pause right here and we can see, Jesus, what did he get done? Oh, a lot. So you can see here, if we just follow pathing we have like this, uh, like this. So, I mean, very straightforward here. It's not difficult. I actually misdrew also. It's even like this. So, this is the corridor for looking closely. Uh, what we got to deal with over here. Now, have you seen a more beautiful Lalo pathing? Yes, we have. We've seen more beautiful Lalo pathing, but it is, it is quite amazing still, so... Let's see the attack finish up. Um, Murto uh, doing a very beautiful uh, push, kill squad push into um, into a Lalo attack right here. Sending stuff left, right, and center, even having a haste spell that he doesn't use. So that push was certainly the valuable thing right here. And the rest of it was just straight up cleanup. Not, not really being uh, too difficult about it. Just straight up smashing it up. So... Beautiful job to Amurto uh, uh, crushing bases at Town Hall 10. Oh, we got to also reintroduce the boom concept, boom. Because uh, heck, I didn't know, but FPCI and uh, a, a Hindustan are rocking the boom, so so definitely going to be using those full on. I got to turn off the a uh, repeat, but well, you guys don't have to watch that, right? Right. Let's see the next time we 10. We got Addy moving in here with the Queen Walk Lalo from 12 o'clock. Queen Walk Lalo, just, just one of the most beautiful strategies out there at all. We will make their way down towards 6. And sending in Hoggy to tank for the wall breakers. Neat little trick to have in, have the, in your back pocket. King is in and Queen is, is in. King dies pretty quickly. But the Queen right here will be the, will be the real beast. 
and you can say dude he's walking right into a single target inferno yeah but single target infernos lately have not been so very impressive just stepping right up and killing it and even if it's taking its sweet time it takes what is it five seconds to charge up so it's just uh it's just uh two uh, it's just too uh, weak now. I think we need to be switching back to multi-target infernos because the single-target infernos is not a—they're not a threat. People are queen walking these um, uh, single-target infernos all the time. So you, you say, I mean, mostly we started using uh, uh, single-target uh, single-target infernos to defend the queen charges, but everyone is cheap queen charging uh, the single-target infernos now anyway. So you know, what's the big deal? Not really beneficial. You can see her Addy coming in with uh, has about I don't know 20 loons left or so. Uh, so best to air attackers in the land, and by the land I mean India, right? I think so. I don't know. I know that Hindustan and FPC India are one of the strongest, uh, or two of the strongest clans in, in in India. So so maybe who knows? All I can say is boom, boom, boom to Logan to Addy, smashing it up. We got a cool video here. We got dark troops. I think he's, uh, I know he's uploaded. This is Arup, who's uploaded this on his own channel. Oh, I saw that, uh, has a lot of views on it. The question was there, who will pop the video or up upload the video? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is me. I'm uploading this video. Well, since you see it, it is now uploaded, right? So I had a beautiful push here, doing the golem shield at Queen Walk up at about 12 down to 10 o'clock. Dropping a jump, meaning up with king and bowlers, because thanks to the funnel being set over here, they could do this, all of them, inside the base. Here, he is just barely getting that single target inferno. You're going to see how extremely close it is. Right here, popping that one, and boom, and boom, queen dies before the inferno dies. Now, what happened here was, uh, which stayed up. And, but he's, he solves his godly poison being used. Mm, so just dropping all these hogs. Uh, very nice. Has that poison. And yes. No problem whatsoever of seeing where the witch will go. Uh, just being very calm and collected about it. Wanted to save that, that poison for later on. But ends up being super chill about it. And doing the best possible thing with the situation. Uh, not the perfect, not the world's best hog split here either. Uh, it does keep the hogs alive. All these hogs, for some reason, wanting to avoid the heal. Annoying. Uh, but, you know. And you can see right here, just clean up at this point. So, a roop, smashing up this base. GG, man. Good job. Boom, freaking out, but boom, working now. All right, guys, let's see another Queen Walk Lalo on a maxed out base because don't we all love those? We love Queen Walk Lalos. We love them on maxed out bases. People typically do not enjoy watching stuff on unmaxed bases now, and I certainly get why it is because there are so many strategies out there now that can crush a low weight bases that it's not really uh, in the same way as before something uh, cool <laughs> to, to triple an unmaxed base. It's not, I'm not saying it's bad. It's still a, a really cool move, but it's not as good as it was. Now, he has a beautiful uh, walk right here. I want to just showcase that he's breaking in, and then he's doing a second layer wall break over here so that the queen can go in like this. Now, isn't that a beauty? You tell me what is, and it, yeah, it is a beauty. I'm not hearing any. I'm not going to you know, accept any objections. Add to that, we had the king. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm not sure. I think I'm not... We had a king move like this to set the funnel down here, and this is just this is just this is so this is so good. This is so good. It makes me just excited to see the king is all the way down here doing work. Uh, this this has to pop the queen. Didn't really want to pop the queen, but did so because yeah. Uh, also going to be using. I don't. I'm not sure if he'll use another. Oh, this is so perfect as well. This is so perfect as well. And you don't understand. If you're not into, into the work community like this, looking at details, you don't understand how good this is. But um, but he sees that the queen is about to step into the single target inferno range. 
well, you can see the range of the Inferno. But then he says, well, the, if I want the Queen to survive and start keep on helping out with the rest of the attack, uh, I need to start my Lalo. So times it beautifully, sends in the Hounds from like this, and then defenses all over the place. And they're going to move in like this, like this. He has a few more in the bag for over here. And they're all going to converge on the same spot over here, where he will certainly have more troops to use. Uh, so or more spells to use so beautiful stuff and keeping the queen alive and keeping her safe from that single target inferno that she cannot reach dropping the heel actually has two heels in the bag so dropping the first one right there second there haste and gg i think it ends up being the case that uh how does it end yeah just barely getting it so I mean, you gotta understand all the thought going into this one. It looks at looks like a, you know it ends up being a three star, but oh, so much thinking and strategy going into this one. Beautiful job by General Dome, smashing it up. And then we got Nick coming in here with a bow. Which let's actually pause it now and do phrase of the day again. Apkanam kia he, apkanam kia he, apkanam kia he. What is your name? All right, let's fire it back up. We're talking a fast hitter here because we're talking a bow witch 10v10. Uh, you know, who knew that this was still a thing in 2018? But yes, yes, sir, it is. Uh, doing the wall break perfectly here. Getting in there. Troops walking on all sides. That's that, you know, that's what you want. Queen, I, I think he wanted the queen to go on the inside. Yeah, definitely wanted that. Uh, she's definitely on the outside, but fine because we have the poison and that ends up being the killer. We're talking a jump that's very nicely placed. Two jumps gets him through most of the base. And then, you know, dealing with that single target Inferno Tower. Uh, you can see the outside squads reaching everything. So a very, very fast attack. And you know what I say always, if you have a base where two jumps can get you through uh, most of it, you know, even, you know, it might, might be that you need to add a few wall breakers to get it done. But if you can somehow get it done with wall breakers or with just a jump, with two jumps, uh, that is that makes for a good base for Bow Witch still in this meta. And Nick finding it and smashing it up really nicely. So, whoops. I'm going to be popping that boom right there, of course. Uh, rock solid stuff. Man. All right, guys. Let's see here. It's not a maxed out base, but, but this one was a special... Special attack, very cool actually. So I want to showcase it still because it's sort of a new concept. We also we almost need to give it a new name now. It's uh, maybe we need to call it the Addy or the Pressure. Uh, if you feel the pressure of your attack, starting off with a Queen Walk that's really beautiful. Has a level seven go lamb down. Does the wall break? No splash damage to worry about. Uh, has a quake. Uh, for this section right here in the core, we're going to do a double layer wall break. Uh, funnels this side, drops the early rage. Let's go with the wall breakers. And you can see now has access to most of the base. So we see a strategy with the queen walk into mass boulder. Um, sort of like a, a town 11 uh, queen walk uh, mass boulder hit. And then has eight. Uh, hoggies for the for the core or not for the core for the cleanup uh, Drops a heal for these troops has another rage for them as well And this push is just gonna be so powerful so powerful with the golems uh, With or with the golem with the rages that affect the healers also with one heal that we used early on but still uh, Just reaching everything here Queen's gonna backtrack and even get that single target inferno that's you know dealing with the with the golem, but still, and then has hoggies in the bag uh, for this back section right here. This base just getting properly smashed up really, really nicely. So beautiful job by COC Game Freak right here. Yeah, bringing you the Addy. Uh, so definitely doing a good job. And then you know the drill, guys. It's time for the six pack shout outs. We have Ked, Lokesh, Insomniac, Addy, uh, COC Game Freak. We have, let's see here, Samir. We're talking down at Town Hall 9 now. We got Sway Tank, Sway Tank. We have Auro 2K15, and we got the bottom name. 
Okay, so we're gonna be watching fresh ones. Let's do sweet uh, sweet tank on buckwheat and then uh, pull up bear and then legit black. Sweat tank. Let's see here what's what we got going on here. Looks like a sap quake mass drag. Taking down these air defenses, no problem. I'd be dropping that baby. Oops, finds a red and finds an air mine right off the bat. Uh, gonna be moving in with all these dragons and a few loons. Dealing with the CC early on, no problem for dragons at all. Queen is doing work, uh, smashing through the base. And I mean, these dragons are just overpowering everything. Sending in that hound, I think it was a little bit late on it. I'm not sure, but I don't know. Switank killing this base for sure has a bunch of dragons left up. No issue with time either, really. Just just overpowering it. Beautiful. We're talking base uh, base identification wise. Seeing that this is a base, I can sap quake uh, to air defenses, no problem, and then have a nice clear path to the other air defenses with the hounds and wounds. So very nice job to Swit Tank right here. We got this cool base, but of course, first of all, phrase of the day, Apkanam Kiahe. What is your name? Apkanam Kiahe. What is your name? Apkanam Kiahe. What is your name? Cool. Huh? All right, let's fire this one up and see. We got a stoned go boho. One of the oldest strategies in the town hall night, or oldest, I shouldn't say, but one of the most straightforward ones. Setting a nice huge funnel and then moving in with everything. Has a hound in there, so that queen is going to be stuck on that one for a while. Drops a heal for all the troops inside the core. But I mean, this core is going to be smashed up so badly that uh, even if, uh, you know, even if he only has one heal for the hogs, finding in the Tesla form right away. Uh, that's that's not going to be a problem because the queen even has her ability still. She's going to be stepping right up and going through the wall and dealing with that wood tower. So you might feel like it gets close, yeah, uh, with that final giant bomb. But overall, we have that queen's ability still and she's sitting behind super strong uh, high HP golem still. So RO2K15 smashing up bases at Town Hall 9 swagging that queen's ability even. Beautiful job, man. All right, guy, and then guys, then we got this one. Final replay of the day: Hindustan smashing up bases, and for this one we have Sui Lalo, uh, king and queen trading off for the enemy queen, and a bunch of stuff right here. That Tesla farm right by the queen, so getting massive value for the push. I don't know if that was the idea. Sui Lalo, and then just uh, moving through the base, had drops a poison for the CC. I always find that pretty interesting though when you have no particular plan for the CC you're just saying heck I'll let pups and and uh, and poison spell deal with the CC uh, it seems to be working very consistently though uh, so yeah this is often the outcome you see when you have a Sui Lalo when your your heroes can pick up nice value like the Arch Queen without putting in much um, without much effort you often see this these complete overkills a little bit the CC could have caused some issues uh, but no big deal uh, it's corner Tesla always a nuisance could have been a time fail but if we look overall on this base uh, I was even close to time fail so uh, Abhishek I think uh, smashing up this one really 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 in a godly fashion this was it for the replays let's jump back to the original screen and see uh, Hindustan week eight premiere uh, CWL premiere what did they get done all right guys Hindustan versus Forge from Steel 117 to 114 uh, absolutely convincing victory and you can see the stats right here absolutely incredible stuff uh, over on the war match uh, um, results so very very impressive and uh and i can't wait for week nine and then of course we're coming up on this part now where we're almost into the playoffs so very interesting uh going into that final section of of cwl and cwl premiere uh is gonna be a, a coming up on a very interesting finale 
All right, so we're gonna also wrap up with phrase of the day. Do it one more time. Apka nam kia he? What is your name? Apka nam kia he? What is your name? Apka nam kia he? What is your name? This is probably one of my favorite bits. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna include it in all the Indian, I like Hindustan and uh, FC India and maybe some other re re recaps, replays, recaps. You guys take care, you know the drill. I'm gonna drop this one actually. If you like the content, make sure to, to subscribe, of course, and share it with your clanmates. But it's, it's no big deal. Just enjoy it. And if you do, that's fine. That's, that's all I need. Uh, until next time, take care, Clash On, and I will catch you in the very next video. Bye. Hit that like button one time. Clash and Psycho is losing his mind. Yeah, that's what you do before you go. Clash of Clans fans, come back for the next video. Subscribe, we out.